Alright guys, today we're gonna show you my today I'm gonna show you my method of customizing these these normal spin master trucks or hot wheels trucks into a custom truck that into a custom truck. So yeah, we're going to get started with with this is a tutorial video on how to customize trucks and here's how I do it. As you guys might have seen, this is the, tr the, the a, a custom truck. It is not made by Spin Master, so it is a custom truck. You can see they have some dents right there, some paint chips that that will be corrected in the future once I get the correct decals on. But as you guys can see, it is Doctor Strange ripoff version out of a storm damage body. Here's the original storm damage. So yeah, it does look a lot different, but because Marvel was going to return at that time, that's why I decided to make Doctor Strange. And now, five months in like in the middle of 2023, it finally happens. But tonight, but today we're going to create a different truck using this body style for Captain Skurs. Yeah, it is, as you guys can see, I do have a, fire, a light right here I could shine off to see what's better. Okay, now I'll drop it. So yeah. You can see, yeah, you can see it's purple paint. It's imperfect. That's because I'm going to give it a touch of paint using this Art Skills Premium Acro Paint Blue Violet. So yeah, I'm just gonna spray. I'm just gonna pour pour little paint there and then use this brush to kind of like detail it. So yeah, I'm gonna, I I have to do that on camera, but that's what you had to get, you guys have to do. Or I could just do it in camera, if, whatever you guys want. So yeah. Oh, and step first is the uni. It depends on the type of body you use. Like if I go over here, have a whole wall here. Like let's say for example, grinder here. You you can see, grinder. Yeah, very, a pretty awesome truck. But if I were to rotate it under. And you can see at the bottom right there, there's no, this is not, that is not a screw. That is some sort of unidentified screw that you will need to drill out to be, to be able to take the body off. But however, for some trucks, like, but however, for some trucks like this, right here, I don't know if you can kind of see down there, but it is a plus screw down there that you can easily remove with this plus screwdriver I have right here. So yeah, also and this is a big screwdriver I have here. So after that you can either write PKT print it or just switch it to PKT tires. I will correct these. That I'm also gonna show you how to detail the rim, the types of paints you're gonna use and everything. But for now, let's start with step with this process right here. So here's the premium acrylic paint right here. I'm actually gonna do this on camera. I'm gonna leave it there so that if it will, if it will let me. So yeah, you guys see, we had I opened it up. You guys can see it's kind of open. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little bit of paint right there. Go that out. I don't know if you can kind of see the paint right there. So yeah, that, that's how much you're gonna need. And now let's start detailing this truck. Like, let me show you right here. You can see right here. You're gonna, you got to paint it like that. You're gonna need a very thin, thin brush right there. If it doesn't wanna work, then all you have to do is just give it more than one layer of paint. And you're gonna keep doing that until it is fully detailed. So I'm going to be right back with that scene, with that cut right there. As you guys can see, I stopped in the middle of the process right there. But as you guys can see, it is not taking the paint much correctly as it should be. So what we're going to do is that, and I got some paint on my finger. So what we're going to do is that, I'm going to show you the type of paints I have right here. Like I can't show you this because it's personal. But, uh, enough of this. But these are the paints I use. 
the the testers paints like no grandma one for example you see these are testers paints paints they work perfect on these models so i highly recommend getting this or oh, this is empty i don't know why i have that here maybe this isn't i also have another right here it's oh it's almost full it's about to be done but yeah they sell these at hobby lobby so you can go to hobby lobby get these paints right here but unfortunately i do not have a purple right there so my best bet is to put it on this right here so what i'm gonna do is try a different method which i'll show you later on in this video so i'll be right back after i finish detailing this as you can see i try to smooth it out as as possible oh yeah and i forgot to mention this is that you're gonna need to take off the windshield can take it off do this model right here since it's painted and it's gonna be drying however i do have this broken megalodon i bought seven years ago but if we look at the bottom of of, of this model right here you can see like, let me put that down for a second let's grab this sharp thing here i use for that like, dentists use you guys can see this part right here yeah that part right there that is what's keeping the windshield to together in the body so you're gonna need to either drill this out or just burn up this part right here so it could come off so easily and the hardest part would be putting them back together so i'm gonna show you how to put a windshield back together once if you decide to do a method like i show you so yeah so this is the megalodon body oh and another guys that if you're going to bend the like if you have a truck that has a broken axle yeah or a bent axle i should say like let me try to find one up here for example i don't have any oh man i actually don't have one that's dent bent or yeah dent i believe So yeah, I'll have to use a Spin Master truck here. I do believe I do have one. That's the Soldier, that's the Soldier Fortune. I don't know if you can kind of see. It looks normal to me, but if if I roll it right here, you can see even this rim. You can see how it's kind of wobbly. That is because the axle right there is bent. So what you're going to be doing is that you're going to be doing so what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking that off, the axle off, to fix it. But, and, and then once you take it off, you're going to, you're going to hammer it or grab a pliers. This, like, like, grab it and then bend it to where it should be. But I, re but I recommend not using pliers because it's going to take you a lot of force rather than a hammer. But just don't hammer too hard because this is... This is what happened to Megalodon. Yes, it does have an orange beak at the tire. But that wasn't that's not the main purpose. The main purpose is is that you can see part of the rim right, the axle right there. That is because I might have hammered it a little too hard. And the axle kind of bent it. Yeah. The axle broke, so I don't so and if you have and if your axle broke, that's gonna be an a next problem which I had to show you. But either way, we have right here the truck. It's about to be drying. So let's rock and roll with this. Alright guys, this took me back a little while. Alright, wait a second. Perfect, right there. It took me a little while to get the red paint color. The red purple color for the truck. But here we are washing the brushes off. We had to wash the brushes off so that we are paintbrush does not get the paint and it doesn't want to work anymore so but this is a bigger brush so it's going to take a little while and i think that's it yeah. now you can see this more so we're just going to wash it like that and put that there and then wash the tiny brush out and i wash the tiny brush out and then i'll show you what the final product came up with and show you that once you're done painting, let it dry, and then you you might always might might need.
Okay, you might always need more than one layer of paint. So, I'll show you what the final product came out to. Okay, guys, this is the whole paint section I had to use to finally get this right color right here. And then here's the color on the truck. It's like a different color, but in the, but in screens, it's like a vibrant purple. Oh yeah, so just don't do the same mistake because I did use normal ones. Then I used a little bit of this one right here, which is kind of dry now. And then I used nail polish right there. Yeah, and then I used that white to make these three colors. I did not know that you had to mix white. Well, actually, I didn't know. It's just that I couldn't figure it out, so I ended up Googling it. Which you guys will see the screen right here. Yeah, and I noticed that I had to use white to make it more lighter. So that's why this is the color it came out with. So, and here's the truck. You guys can see it is imperfect from the brightness paint on top of right there but it will get through we do now we start making the decals all right guys so this is the acrylic paint i used for for the purple and it just that white so you can use any white any paint to be honest apple burl might be a good choice but i need to try that out because I, I haven't used apple burl in a long time so anyways let's start with the chassis right here so all we need to do is we need to take off the chassis right there. How you do that? Well, I'm gonna show you. That's if I could get this to stand. I got a whole bucket of sharpies here. So all right, we're putting that there. There. And you see this right here? That right there? Yeah, you're gonna need, gonna need to put some pliers in and grab it and then just twist up. And it should come out that easy. And it should come out that easy. And he has the separate of the roll and chassis and tires. You can see if right, it is super dirty because it's been on the shelf right there for like five months now. So, so you can see this chrome chassis will stay. That's what I will keep it about the truck. But let's do. With this roll cage, you can see the shocks have been painted in chrome. Well, you're gonna need to get one of these markers. I use this one. I don't know if there's a Dollar Tree in, in any other country, but I get this at Dollar Tree. And all I have to do is take the top off. See right there? And now I just need to detail this up with this shiny metal. And I'm just gonna put the camera right here to detail this up. As you guys can see, you can see how shiny this is going to be. It's already chrome because this used to be a truck that I can't post to YouTube due to school copyright. So, there you go. More chrome on the right there. But you can also add additional stuff to it. But I just feel like chrome will best fit this. So we're just detailing the chrome. Alright guys. Here we go. You, you can actually use one of these but sharp sharpie. Just whatever. It's like a marker that's shiny chrome like this. That'll make it more fit. So just a roll cage in more greater detail. And now to hide the imperfection of these PKT tires. We're gonna, I'm gonna use the black sharpie and then just color those white spaces in. So let me show you how that will look like once it's done. Alright guys, I'm done with one side. So I'm gonna leave the sharpie down there. But so, yeah, I just painted around it and it looks like that it, did, that it never got PKT printed. So now we're just gonna do that to the other side. Then we're gonna color the rims into like the the rims of, of a Photoshop truck that came out not too long ago. So... Yeah, it's finished touching that up. Okay, so here it is. It's not the best overall, but it does hide some part of it. Like this side looks so clean, but this side, eh, I think about it. But we're also gonna use that same marker. And like as you guys can see, it's the same brand, but in different colors. We're gonna use this white marker 
for BKT printing. Like, I'm gonna have to write out BKT printing. It's your choice, man, if you want to print out BKT and place them on the truck or write them or write it down your own. But it's really up to you. So now, since the. And now, we're gonna do the BKT printing once the Sharpie's drying. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to put this roll cage back up. So, this is the roll cage. From here, you can see the chrome. So all you need to do is place it like that. Like that, and then press down. Like that, but the front is kind of like the same. So we're, what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna leave the camera right here. I'm gonna grab the pliers again. Grab the pliers again. And then lift that up again. Like to get it to where I want it. It is actually really difficult. Well, I have no choice but to take it out again. Alright, now we're gonna enter the back first. Now, press it right here. Alright guys, you guys can see, it's kind of going in. Okay, there you go. That is how you enter the roll cage pack. It's real easy with Spin Masters, but when it comes to Hot Wheels models, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult. So there you go. The back roll cage, and then the body's going to be drying up very soon. And once it dries up, we're going to start detailing it. With the, which I might, need, I might need to grab the brush I can again. Yeah, I might need to grab the brush again, so that way I can... Oh, sorry about that. kind of got paint on my phone case. So, once it's... So, once I stop recording, I'm gonna take off as much as paint as we can, so that way it doesn't look like somebody just crap painted over it. So, yeah. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, yeah. Also, if you get a truck that has a burnt windshield, just cover the windshield, like... Black Sharpie, it will go through. So, let's finish. So, let's finish detailing this truck. I guess I put the paper back just because. Because I kind of messed up on the front grill of it, but that is going to be eliminating. But that is going to hide once we add the decals on. It's about to be dry. So, now we're going to start making the decals. No, actually, well, once it's dry, we're going to start adding the facial expressions of what it has. Then after that, we're going to make the decals. So let's get to it. Alright guys, here's the chassis. You can see I had to, I handwrited the PKT printing. Yes, I know it's not that much, but, we, but PKT printing is what makes this truck special. The body's almost done drying. The front was dry, so I decided to grab that chrome marker and detail it on the Headlights and that front piece right, of the W towing. Now we're just gonna start printing the decals out. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, guys, you guys can see we have painting the blue chrome rim here. So let me show you how that is done right here. Remove the body a little bit more to like right there. So all you have to do. Is I need to, I need another person to hold the camera for me. All right, I'm just gonna go get my sister to help me with this. Well, I guess my sister's busy, so I have to do this by myself. Grab. So what you have to do is that grab the tire, get these little parts out of the way here. All right, so all you have to do, you see that right there? Yeah. All you have to do is grab that marker, grab a blue sharpie. Or whatever color you're gonna do the rim, just slightly touch the tire like that. Then along the edge right there. Yeah, you guys, you're gonna touch that along the tire, and then you're going to touch it from the inside right there. And I'm gonna rotate the tire so that way it makes this much more easier. In this method, I'm also going to use to the other 
room since I since I did the other one. And there you go. I don't know if you guys can see. Shiny blue room. All you need to do is do that to the other room right here. It's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult doing it on this on camera. So yeah, I hope you guys... Because the master does BKT printing, but I like to have it like a shiny color, so I'm painting it blue. Oh, and let me know in the, in the comments what truck do you think this is? Well, I get the blue of my skin there. That doesn't really matter. I get it out of here. Alright guys, the t you can see right there, and then, yeah guys, the blue rim with chrome tire right there, that was just going to paint the inside black with black paint, so, let's see what ends up being, so we're, we're going to do that right now, and show you, so we're going to do that right now, and show you what it means. Alright guys, so here we have painted the rim black from the inner outer to make it look like the same effect dragon the galaxy has oh i should have not said that but either way here we have body is just chilling right there and it might need to get some new paint upgrades so here's the and i, I just leave it like this so that way the paint can just dry and just detail it with the blue sharpie after but we're gonna wait for that to dry while we're gonna work on the truck now, alright? Alright guys, I finally got the perfect purple color for the new truck. You can see it's a little darker than the original one, which is this one right here. But here it is the body style for the truck. And now we're just gonna wait for it to dry and put on the chassis right there so that way we can print the decals out for this. So, oh. So the next thing you'll see me is in my printer or just putting clear code on this, but that'll be the next thing you'll see me. And guys, I know it has no decals on, but we're gonna try to, it is time to put the clear, clear code on the base paint. Of course, this, I have this Rust-Oleum triple thick glaze. And here it says clear glass like coating, high gloss finish. So that way, I use this because I think that's gonna make it look like a shiny, shiny to, yeah, to fit the, so that way it could be so shiny that, the, so we can place the decals on this bad paint job right here. But they try to fix it. Just got BKT tires with those with those blue chrome rims with black BKT tires. BKT printing. Let me show you what kind of like what it does. You see, we take a recent truck, Horror Slasher. You're using the base color paint, you can see it took that shiny effect onto it and it makes it look shiny. And it took that shiny glossy paint and, and turned it into this. So, yeah, we'll leave that there. Now we're going to do it on this purple truck here, which I'll let you guys know the name once I start showing you the decals, which I already made those. You guys are going to have to use pigflirt.com. All right, so let's go outside and coat this bad boy up. All right, guys, it is kind of dark out here. So what we're going to do is that we, I don't know if you can kind of see the truck right there. You can see the triple thick glaze. Check it out, shake it up very well. Shake it up very well. Mm. Shake it up very well. Now I'm just going to have to twist this up right here. You don't want to get it get it too close to the truck it is kind of windy outside so it might hold over but this is how you do it the paint is mostly going over there because it's windy so because it's the wind going over here I'm, I'm gonna place it over here so that I can take that coat up very nice take that coat very nice that was a mistake. All 
All right, guys, we took that code. Then now we gotta do is tilt it right there. Now just the side panels. It is kind of windy outside. I recommend doing this in a garage or something. I'm doing it outside just for you guys. That's how the gloss is. Let me go bring it to a brighter light here so you guys can see. Okay, look, how, look how shiny that is. I'm gonna keep adding a more clear coat and I, once I feel like it's done with the primary, then I'm gonna take it back inside and let it dry. So the next time you'll see me, it will be inside. I guess I don't know if you guys can kind of see, but it is looking that close glossy coat that I've been wanting for 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 the paint job so now all we just gotta do is let that dry and then we're gonna start applying the decals which I had to print the decals in the school either way I will try to film over there so I'll be so the next time you see me will be inside and when you see me print the decals will be in the school all right guys we're back at the studio over right here as you can see it is fully glossed out from the clear coat I put outside so yeah triple thick clear, clear, clear coat will work best for your customs but just don't try not to use too much because they will leak the paint out but either way let's put the clear coat back to its normal spot now our next step is printing out the decals like for this one, I had to use Adobe Illustrator to recreate these decals right here. But either way, it, so I already did the decals. They're on my files in the Word document. I'll show you guys once I get over there filming. So yeah. If you have a printer at home, you can simply just print them. But however, my printer sucks. Like let me show you an, a great example on what I'm talking about. Hey, okay, here's a deco. Here we grab a pliers, a pair of tweezers. Yeah, so you, basically this is how it's going to come out. Like my printer, the paint is literally going to leak off. Ink, it will be easily ripped off. So it's not going to look good on the custom trucks that has also happened to any other truck. Truck like probably like only one time. Yeah, like one time. So now I use the school printer to print them out. But I'll show you guys how to print them. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to print them. So here's the horse slasher truck. So we'll be right back once I get the details printed out. All right guys, I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. But here's the computer, we're gonna go print this, uh, this the decal cell for the new truck that I wanna have. So, we're gonna go print this out in the school library. So yeah, I'm gonna try to record a little bit, but not as so much. So we're gonna go to the library to see if we can, so we can print the decal cell and show you guys how small these decals are gonna be on the actual model. Right, guys, here we have the decals printed. I'm going to do not brought the model to school, but I will get to that in the studio. So we're gonna go put these decals in the studio. If some decals are wrong, I'll have to reprint them. But here are the decals, so we're gonna be pasting them onto the truck. Hey right, guys, we're back home. We have the truck right there, just fully dried. You can see. All right, guys, since last time we were outside. Now we're inside, you can see how shiny that clear coat turned out on the truck. Now here are the decals we printed out. And we're gonna start measuring them on the truck. And if they, they're good, we're gonna paste them. So we're gonna cut these out individually. Enjoy, I'll be right back. I guess finished cutting them. So you guys can see at the body again. 
But we finished cleaning the decals. I put them in this little glass container I found in school. But you can see they are so tiny. They're the tiny decals that will go onto here. And they have to look perfect. So what we're going to do is that we're going to grab pliers to paste them on. Yes, they're kind of dirty. But we're going to grab, grab pliers. Whatever types of pliers work. Then yeah, that's what we're, we're going to use. Then we're going to use something a little different. We're going to use a glue stick to glue the decals on because if you try to because i don't have normal decals i don't have a printer for normal decals but it seems like glue stick should work on on these models here and they never came off from what i seen so we're gonna start using the glue stick on this like right now okay guys we're gonna open the glue stick as you can see the glue stick right there you can see some pokes of the pliers and then we're just going to take the first decal. Okay, we're going to take the first decal. And that is the Galaxy Knight logo. You know, why is it so hard to grab decals? Especially with a camera. Alright guys, we grabbed the decal. Okay, it fell off. That's okay. Alright guys, we grabbed the decal. Now we're going to place it right here. Now I'm just gonna tap my finger on it. I'm also gonna move it around so that way that the sides can get get it on it. But before placing decals, you have to actually know where are the decals gonna go. So yeah, you can see it's fully sticked right there. That decal is going to go onto the front hood right there. So and it's gonna be a struggle because I have a camera. Oh okay, yes. I'm gonna take it off. I guess we got that off. All right, go put this off right here. And there. All right, geez, where you been? Okay, so that is how you paste the decal. I don't know if you guys saw that, but. Mine kind of bent it right there. So now we need to do is if the rest glued in, but this one side is still sticking off. All we gotta do is this. Alright, sorry guys, I'm putting the camera right here. Let's take the glue stick, and all you gotta do is wrap it up right there until it, it, it sticks on it. Like that. And if it keeps falling off, you're just going to have to repeat the step process, but you don't want to put it too much. So we're going to put the, the that's why we're going to do the same thing with these decals, with the rest of the decals here. And I'll meet you guys once all the decals are all placed. Alright guys, here's a bit process of the truck. You guys can see, oh, I'm not supposed to show that. Actually, whatever. You guys can see the part of the truck right there. It is a, um, imperfect because there's a lot of white edges. But we're gonna paint those up with what with purple paint or marker depends on what you have. So now we're just going so so now we're just going to put the rest of the decals we have here onto this side. And then we still need to put the Moss Gem logos on. So that will be on the touch of paint here. Uh, once you're done touching it up, we're going to to touch it up with the markers or oh, yeah, the logo has been removed from the front here because I felt that it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense having a having a logo here since I planted the logos on the sides. So that will be replaced. So yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna finish putting the decals on and then I'll show you the next step after that. I think a lot lot lots of cutting and pasting. This was the final product of it. You can see the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Let me go back here. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Back here we have an asteroid belt. Well, right here we have the Galaxy Knight logo, which is the name of this truck. Well, at the front here we have the Moss Gem logos. Now, all we need to do is wait for the decals to dry. You don't want to start painting the, like, painting the white edges immediately. You kind of just, like, want to let it dry. So that way we won't move around. 
and then once they're dry you can grab a purple marker and just go over the white lines and after the overlines since after the overall overlines then it's time to clear coat it again but however since this truck is just going it's going to have a special effect on it we're going to do a special effect from but once you come to to once you finish detailing the lines and everything this will be your final step of what of dealing with the body adding it the clear code so all in, like these guys right here then you're gonna put it back on the chassis so yeah so yeah we're gonna start detailing the edges once the decals are dry don't use glitter clear coat unless you unless you plan to use it a glitter clear, clear coat like you'll see in my next one right this would be the final step for it all right so we're gonna, we're gonna, so we're gonna wait for the decals to dry then paint them with then we touch the white lines and from there i think this truck is done and just needs to add the glitter effect on it in this critical here so yeah let's wait for the decals to dry I right, guess we're gonna detail it with the marker just grab the random purple marker that works we're gonna de do the white lines like for example see the monster logos you see that there how there's some white there what we're gonna do is that we're gonna touch those up with with a purple marker just going very lightly on the on the edges of the decal it should look something like that you can see if i put the camera down sideways the white lines disappear so that, that's what i'm going to be doing for to all of these lines so all the decals down so so now i'm just going to finish touching it up with the purple paint and i'll meet you guys right after that all right guys we're done, done touching it up with the purple paint you can see the white lines are completely gone the white lines are completely gone from the model i also did back did some polka dots with the black sharpie to make it look like it has more asteroids to represent the asteroid belt now the next process is we're gonna quirk 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 on the outside right there you can see the quirk right there we're gonna put the quirk outside and this time with a brighter light sunlight so that way you guys can see the process so anyways we're gonna take this outside and quirk coat it and and clear coat this bad boy up. Alright guys, so it's kind of busy out here. Windy out here, as you guys can see, it is windy again. But that is not going to stop us from putting the clear coat right here. Here we have the triple thick lace. We're going to shake it up again. Now there's a difference between putting clear coat without decals and putting clear coat without decals. Is that, shake this real good. Is that. You don't want to put too much clear coat because if not, the decals are going to be as bad. Yeah, the decals are going to be as bad on the final product. So yeah, you don't want to put too much. But you want to make them shiny. So, yeah, start shaking the fat boy up. Alright. So, put that out. Here, now, you guys want to spray like 5 to 10 inches away. Like, let me show you how that is done. If it'll let me stand here. See, just standing. Nope, I don't need to put rocks in here. Alright, guys, that's the best I can have it. Go like this. But as you guys can see, the wind is going that way. So I'm just gonna spray it from here. Alright, let's rotate this again. Alright guys, you guys can see. Just, we're detailing it up. Alright, I just want to do this one thing to do. Okay. All right, again. Yeah. All right, again, this one right here. All 
uh, using quick coat is not a kid thing. So, yeah, using quick coat is not a kid thing, but you will need to get ex help from your parents to do that. And now I'm gonna tape this back up. That's the case. case. And what you can see the the quick coat on the truck. Now we're just gonna, now we're just gonna wait for this to dry there, so that way we can put the decals on the glitter critical once it arrives in the mail or it if it should i don't know so yeah we're gonna let let this dry out okay for back at the studio you can see the how shiny that critical came out on the decals just wow so anyway we're gonna let that dry in the next part we're gonna start working with the on putting the windshield back up or just actually we're just gonna wait for the glitter pink quicker to come up and if and if it doesn't come well then i might have to i might just have to find a method how to add this glittery quicker like this guy but i'll go right here i know you guys can see where you can see it has that glitter or sparkle effect that is what i'm trying to do with this guy but i don't know if it's going to arrive on time or not but hopefully it does Alright guys, the clear coat is dry. Now we're just going to take the wallet or something soft like my wallet and just going to press on this. Yeah, like press on that and then now this thing is going to become use useless now. And we're just going to be working on this in, in the bottom right here. Now when putting the windshield back up right here, you always kind of like... You, you, you see this right here? I gotta grab a screwdriver with this. Oh, where's my screwdriver at? Okay, so here's my screwdriver. You can see right there. Right there. These are the thingies that are used to glue the windshield together. But because this one's already... Uh, you guys can see the lines right there because it has... I did cut those off so to make the windshield more easier to put up but because it's already like that if you're getting a new truck you obviously will have to to do that that is how you glue the windshield back well now exactly gonna glue it now we're just gonna place paste it on the back on the chassis simply by just doing this this is done now we're just going to flip it until it enters the, the chassis. I get that wall out of here. Like that. Yeah, like that. And now we're just going to press on it. It's not fully going to be sticked because the bottom is super glued. But I, it will stick. Which might not have to add super glue. You guys will add super glue to yours. Yeah, you guys will add super glue. Just pressing this. Yeah, you guys might need to add super glue on it. And once you add super glue, it should be done. Let's now we're just gonna bring the super glue and show you guys what that actually did. What that actually means. All right, guys. I put the super glue bond. I don't know if you guys can see, but I did put the super glue bond. That should bond it good, so that way you can just jump it and the body doesn't come off. So yeah, that is my way on how to do a custom monster jam truck. You can actually make whatever you want, as long as you know how to size the decals and follow each procedure correct. So. Yeah guys, that is how you make a custom truck. This is Spin Master Monster Gem signing out.